My ally has like no upgrades. Glorious charge. Hello, my friends of Middle Earth, and welcome to the Beyond Standard channel. My name is Shanks, and today we are playing our tournament game in 2v2 event versus Gwindo and Craxy on the map Anorian. Okay, we are Gondor and Isengard versus Gondor and Isengard. It's a mirror matchup, so may the better Gondor Isengard team win. Let's do this. Okay, so at the beginning of the game, we want to capture the farms outside, obviously, you know. Soldiers. Okay, so Pippin, you go there to take this one. My ally is taking the middle ones in the middle, so his eco is going to be good. And we'll be focusing down the Isengard player, okay? That's the goal. So Gondor Eisen is a very strong combo because, you know, you have two st strong swordmen and your ally has Uruk with the war chant and you can war chant all together at the same time and your push is going to be crazy strong. Okay, I mean, he's coming. Please. Oh, he took it, man. Dude, that's unfortunate. My Hobbit is too slow. Peregrine green took. Okay, so they are doing pretty much the same thing, you know. That's like the common meta. It's like the strongest push ever when you combine your strength at the beginning of the game. And this Eisen will be rich, man. And I will be quite poor, you know. I have only one farm outside, which is really bad for me. So I can't really rush the steeple. I have not the eco to kind of maintain it. War chant. Okay, my ally can go now to the other mills and I will be able to destroy this one, no problemo. We can also pick the heal or Elven Wood, but picking Elven Wood here would be a mistake because we are against Gondor and we can easily cover this, you know what I'm saying? So my goal here with the Hobbit is to protect my ally settlements. I'm gonna pick, pick the heal actually. Okay. We're gonna be using it in a bit. Boom. And we should be able to protect this, no problemo. With Peregrine took. Okay, we are saving for the stable. Okay, nice defense. We are cash floating a bit, but not a big deal. And now Hobbit can throw the sword. Oh, he has crossbow man. So it means he won't rush Lourdes, I believe. But I like to play Gondor when my ally is Isengard, because then I will have Warchan on my Gondor Knights, and this way my Knights of Gondor are gonna be quite strong, you know? And they will deal crazy damage, and with the shields, plus heavy armor, plus the Warchan from my ally, they will also be quite tanky. So it's so fun to rush the enemy base with the Gondor Knights, with upgrades, and also the shields. But it's gonna take me some time to destroy the settlement though, because my Hobbit is only level 1. Run, level 2. Run. Maybe we can save them. So leggy. Not for me. <laughs> Not for me. Okay. So the way it's gonna work is we are hosting the first game. They will be hosting the second game. And then if it's gonna be 1-1, one, one, the third game, the deciding game will be hosted by a neutral player. So nobody will have an advantage, you know? Our eco is not looking too bad. Uh, too good, I mean. And that's because the, you know, the missing farm outside. Remember the farms will not only give us resources, but also giving us the uh, seeds, you know. The food bonus making our Knights of Gondor cost less. This crossbowman will die. I will kill them. You ain't going nowhere. Yield up the well for the recovery. Dude, they are zooming though, this crossbowman. This is no rubble of mindless orcs. These are boom, boom, boom. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Okay. It's all about important to destroy the enemy settlements. With the second night of Gondor, we're going to be creeping. And my hobbit is still trying to destroy the enemy slaughterhouse. Creeping this one. Oh, it's freezing from time to time, actually. Oh, he just, you know, took it back. Okay. I think this Eisen's eco is not as good as I was assuming it to be. Which is kind of good for us, you know? Now, what we need to do is fill up the bees with blacksmiths, you know. 
to have a bit better eco and then we're gonna be recruiting the Gondor Knight number three and this way our stable will hit level two and with the level two stable we will be able to purchase the night shields which are which is increasing our durability versus arrows quite a bit and then we will ask our ally for war chant and then we should be good to go My Gondor is pretty strong. I mean, he's pinging me, but I can't really help him, man. I won't be chasing his knights of Gondor all the time, you know? I will be creeping. What? There is no creep? He took it. This Gondor took it, actually. Okay, that's bad. I'm gonna chase him, but without Palantir. Okay, so the Night Shield will be available very soon with the third Knight of Gondor coming out. Our power point's not too shabby. We've almost. I will skip the land actually and I will try to rush either the Gan of the White or the Ranger Special Summon, you know, the Great Company. Because I'm assuming my opponent will have actually lots of pikemen, you know, and that's dangerous. Watch on me here. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Nice, he did it. Okay. Oh, but he's disengaging. He's paying attention, you know? Is there money on the ground? Oh. Back, 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 back. Oh man, I'm guys, for my defense, I haven't touched the game in months, okay? So I'm playing really bad, actually. I still know what to do, obviously, you know, it's like, you know, riding a bicycle. But I am rusty and I make lots of, you know, rookie mistakes and that's unforgivable. What's also unforgivable is that this player doesn't have towers in his face, you know? <laughs> it's also unforgivable. Now the bleeds. So typical. Oh, 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 oh. careful. Go back. I'm gonna recapture. I capture this and demolish it, so they, they will need to wait a little bit to recapture this. You know what I mean? Destroying this one. He's not demolishing it. We will get two power points after that one. He's using Palantir, so we need to run in circles. It's like the perfect counter when enemy has Palantir. So we need to... When you go straight line, they will be able to catch up to you and you will lose your Knights of Condor. So we need to use those buildings on the ground to kind of maneuver around it, you know what I mean? In the animation, you see the glow animation. The second it's over, we don't need to be worried about it anymore. About it anymore. Oh, he has too many pikemen, man. Yeah, come, come, come into the pikemen. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Okay, nice. So we saved the horse. Amazing. Good performance. I still got it, I guess. But we have no map control. That's the main problem. But what we have now is bleeds and shields. So very soon we will be going for a big base rush. And we need only one power point for the, for the Grey Company. What are these pikemen doing here, man? Where is my ally Lourdes? This is a very aggressive playstyle, sir. This is very... Oh my goodness, this Berserkers, man. Holy. Almost taking me down. Oh, but he got crippled. And my ally is Lourdes level 4, you know. It's over for you, Lourdes. It's over for you, Lourdes. Oh, man. You can't be that aggressive when you... With your heroes, when enemy has a Lourdes, which can kind of pin you at your place for like 20 seconds. And with the carnage... That's very good for us, because my ally is now, I think, uh, Lourdes level 5, that's amazing, more leadership, but maybe we don't even need it, because we are going now for the base rush. So we need around 3 quarters for the uh, seat. Great company. Oh, oh, be careful. Oh my goodness, we actually took so much damage, even though he was not in formation, we've almost healed back up. We have all upgrades, boys, beside banner, all upgrades beside banner. Give me war chant. 
Boom, boom, okay. Guys, now it's all about micro, okay? Hold on a second, okay? Enjoy the beast rush to its full potential. All you can eat buffet. Let's go. The furnaces. They have no chance. They will get slaughtered. They have almost the power points for the great company. The great company can win us actually the game here. My ally is also being rushed at the moment, but I can't watch. Hopefully he will be fine. He will be able to defend himself. They are de dealing tremendous. Oh, nice. There we go, boys. Okay. This is over for you, my friend. <laughs> Dude, the rush, I'm telling you. Bleeds plus war chant, and your structures are not level 3 yet. Oh, you gotta be calling it GG, yeah. GG well played, my friend. I mean, they played good at the beginning of the game, but they were kinda not respecting the potential beast rush enough. And the timing was perfect because my ally was getting rushed, but my ally has also lured level 5 and stuff. And they are complaining, unplayable, to be honest. I mean, dude. At the end of the day, this game is made in 2004, you know? Like, it's a little bit leggy, but there is nothing I can do about that, you know? I like safe. And Craxy has been defeated. Okay, he's also calling it GG. We have even Palantir, we are zooming, and that's it, boys. Game one, we got it. And I will see you guys in the game number two. Beautiful. Beautiful. Game number two. This time on the map is Eminent, so each game on a different map and also with different matchup. This time we are playing Evil Mordor Eisen against Rohan Eisen. So it's a bad matchup for us because East Eminent, first of all, I have like no experience on this map. And for that reason, I like this tournament because it kind of gives you or, or forces you to play maps you usually don't play at. And also this matchup, I believe, on a map like this, which is quite small. Um, but yeah, which we shall see. Best of luck to us and not to the enemy, okay? So Rohan Eisen, very strong combo, but Mordor Eisen, also very strong combo in the late game. We have lots of leadership. But unfortunately, the freezing rain from our opponent. Look, I don't even know the map, dude. <laughs> I don't even know where the settlements are. Okay, we're picking up the Palantir. Not the Palantir. No, 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 no. Don't do this. The War Chant. One of the best beginner uh, beginning spells of the game, you know, giving you pretty much killed in leadership, but even better. So 50-50 damage armor. And that's the main re okay, that was bad actually. Maybe I should have been building up the slaughterhouse there, you know. The smart move from him, ignoring my Uruks and going for my structure. And when you play evil against evil matchup in 2v2s, when your direct opponent is evil, you always want to open with double furnace. Because the chance that you will be losing your settlement is extremely high. And when you are starting with a Uruk pit, you heavily rely on the resource income from the outside settlements, which you basically can't protect against evil. That's not possible. Okay. I can use Warchan here if I want to. But the game is freezing a little bit. Hopefully it's going to be fine. My eco... <laughs> Leggy even for me, WTF. Dude, I can't help it. You are the host of this play, man. Uh, of this game. Oh, there is a hobbit. I want to be capturing this settlement from him, you know? I want to build a slaughterhouse here. Let's build a slaughterhouse first. It's tankier compared to um, a lumber mill, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason why. My eco is not good, though. The problem is we need pikemen and this Isengard opponent doesn't need pikemen. Because we are against Rohan, he will make Rohirrim. When you play Eisen against good, you need pikemen, you know? Unless he's gonna not go for the, for the horses, which would be a big mistake. He needs horses in this matchup. Especially against orcs, you know, there are too many orcs. That comes to Warchan. I will be using Warchan eventually here to destroy the slaughterhouse a bit faster. And also losing my settlements, that's not good. I don't know, man, if it's good to actually get Lourdes or not. Because I believe we don't need Lourdes leadership in this matchup. We have Mordor ally who has Eye of Sauron plus Witch King plus Drummer Troll. But extra leadership never does hurt, you know. This uh, Hobbit is annoying. Give me either. 
Yeah, the eye will reveal. He can't be cloaking against the eye. Eye is able to reveal invisible units. So no escape for you, Mario Rock Brandy Buck. So this uh, this guy's annoying actually. You know, with this Uruk, I want to can I couldn't cancel. Oh man, I'm actually losing so much money from the settlements. It's unbelievable. My eco is not too bad, but it's you know not good either. But I'm still kind of certain that I'm winning my side in terms of eco war, at least, you know? Okay. He doesn't want to take it? I take it then. Give it back to me. Oh, he's coming back. I want to defend this, but I don't know if I can actually. Recapture this one. With two mils at bare minimum, we also unlock the wood bonus. I want to repair this. Repair it. Repair it, boy. Oh, man. I knew it. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, boys. You know, there comes the Rohirrim army. And we are not even close to level 2 Uruk pitches yet. We need still, like, two more Uruks. I want to actually capture this middle um, outpost, you know? And then we can put like a crossbowman inside the outpost for some self defense and even build a tower or something. We lost the settlement again, unfortunately. He has even Lourdes, okay. Oof. Yeah, he kinda, I think he kinda rushed Eco in the castle. So he went only blacksmith uh, or furnace, 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 furnace. And he skipped the Uruk pit, and for that reason, he is able to have Lourdes. Which is good for them because Lourdes will be strong later on. With the leadership remember also rohan eisen have like lots of leadership right they have theodin aragorn eventually and most importantly what rohan can do is he can capture those outposts and uh, build like statue well around the outpost which is super hard for me to commit to but my ally is not doing too bad the problem is my ally has not many settlements outside you know that i think he has only one single farm Need crossbow man, come on. Yo, we also need towers. At least one tower I want to build in two more furnaces. We need actually lots of eco boys, okay? We need armory in the last spot in the castle. Oof. Don't commit me yet, man. Don't commit me yet. I'm so poor. I'm so poor. Don't trample them, please. I'm risking it, but... I need some self-defense for the outpost. I don't want to lose it. It's so expensive, you know? Okay, nice. Beautiful. Nice. Alright, so... Furnace, furnace. That's the plan. That's good. We have only one lumber mill, but we have at least like an outpost with two furnaces. That's good. And my ally is, you know, he keeps losing those settlements outside because he has no trolls yet. So we need troll cage, we need four trolls for the drama troll. We need it so badly. Now it's a very awkward situation because I need this pikeman to counter the Rohirrim. But his Uruks counter my pikeman. So we need like Berserker and also pikeman, which is very awkward, you know. We need industry too, man. Look at the damage from the Uruks, you know, that's what I'm talking about. The Uruks are hard countering my pikemen, hard countering them, actually. I'm so poor. I want to make crossbow men. Okay, we reclaim this, we, re we reclaim this. And that's what I'm talking about, you see? Rowan is outpost. We have war chant. And my ally has finally trolls. Okay, that's gonna create some momentum because the Rohirrim from Rohan can't do anything against the troll. But they come to me and maybe I need some more towers. Is he gonna commit to me? No, right? I mean, he has no, he has no upgrades on them. Yeah, this is not gonna be working well for you, my friend. He's losing this horse. I think he's not paying attention gone nice okay 
So with this two cross mama we can creep this troll layer. I will be using Warchan for this just to kill the troll faster. Because I don't think there is gonna be any fight anytime soon. Armory. We need uh, banner, heavy armor, and also fire arrows. That's what we need. My ally used a random um, land over there. Okay, nice. So, okay, that's gonna be our third settlement. That's good. The problem is we have not many trees around the settlements, but it is how it is. We have two combos later on, and we have we are only missing lords. Come on, dude, I'm still so poor, you know? I'm very, very worried, worried about this outpost. I wanna, I wanna face check it, you know? Maybe there is no defense and I can destroy this statue and well. It's gonna be so many power points for me. We have also two power points now. That's gonna be quite helpful, boys. Industry gonna be quite helpful for us. Boom, boom. Nice, okay, let's combine them now. One by one. Oh, he's demolishing everything. Okay, smart, smart guy. Smart guy. He's paying attention to it. Like he's paying attention to it. He is paying attention to it. And there comes the protection with the crossbowman and Lourdes. Also, he has heavy armor. You can see the golden arm armor on his crossbowman. So we need to be fast, you know? Heavy armor. There we go. Okay. So. Oh boy. Yeah, uh, we need to demolish it. I would like to have Lourdes. You know, Lourdes at any stage of the game is very important. Oh man. Oh, there comes the crossbowman army. Because we can cripple with the Lourdes, his Theodin, or also the Lourdes from Isengard. Oh man, this scheme is looking bad. This game is actually looking very bad for us. Outpost fully destroyed. He has up upgrades, heavy armor, everything. We are missing drama troll. I need, I need drama. Even if drama is so difficult because he has Theorin, which is basically like a drama troll, you know? I don't count Warchant because also Rohan is Warchant. Okay, we need to fight this. We gotta be moving before they build statues, man. That's very important, you know? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We need to go now, we need to go now. With, with uh, Eye of Sauron and stuff, we need to go now. Okay, they are, okay, okay. They, they wanna give up this area, all right. So now, now I can capture this. I, I don't wanna really commit to the outpost from Rohan. They have like double statue there. And before I can destroy the statue, I will take so much damage. Okay, I mean, we can go to the Rohan castle. We need to use tempo now. Need to make more army. Also need lords at some point. Oh, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill the horses, kill the horses. Level 5, level 7, kill him. Nice, okay, level 7 down. Amazing. We need drama throw, man. In a dream world, I would have, I would like to have two armies so I can rotate from both sides simultaneously. But I can't afford this right now. Okay, they are retreating. I don't know if we should be committing to this fight yet. Not really sure if we can commit to this fight. You know, keep making more army. Okay, maybe he's not paying attention to the statues. That's gonna be good for me. He's not paying attention. That's good. Okay. That's gonna be lots of power points if he doesn't demolish them in time. Okay, we got power points, you see? And, you know, these are very punishing. It's like, sentry towers, statues, and wells. If you don't destroy them in time, your opponent will get lots of power points. So, quick tip. Those structures, those three major structures, are very important to be demolished in time. 
because they add so much value for the cheap price like sentry tower costs you 150 but protects you well incre incredible sustain and also statue crazy utility and leadership so for a cheap price and for that reason if you lose them big punishment so we gotta move now to the to the outpost here so you see playing the cat and mouse game with the enemy i hope they won't be moving to our allies piece i want to kill the well actually destroy the well uh, I bring Lourdes to this location getting power points it's good we need rain but my opponent team is also Aragorn so Aragorn theory and leadership pretty much raw damage so 90% damage which means everything from us might get one-shotted but fortunately we have also leadership right with drummer troll and stuff now we need only witch king and ideally you also lead Lourdes uh, level 5 you know We have five combos in total. We can't make more. We have almost no more available command points. If the Rohan comes, we can also go to his own castle. Okay, we, I, I actually need to save now for Saruman. Oof, this army from Isengard is also looking scary. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, let's see if we can fight this. Yeah, they are very smart with the heroes. They are placing them behind. The trolls are charging in using land. Hit troll, hit! Oh, oh, they, but they have glorious charge. They have glorious charge. How did he get Glorious Charge, man? Run, Lords, Lords! Oh my goodness. And he's even Saruman! We need to go to the base now from Rohan. So we're gonna be losing all this army, by the way. There is no chance we can save them. We are being chased by elves and everything. The so awkward. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, GC messed me up. I didn't see that coming, you know. And my pikemen, I'm playing so bad. Like, there is no excuse. I'm playing really, really bad, actually, in this game. I need also Saruman. Oof, I lost. Like, this guy got so fat there. Holy. Just go into in the base. Deal as much damage as you potentially can. Destroy those high level farms. So we broke. We need to crash Rohan's eco. But he has already so much eco, man. This is not even funny anymore. If Witch King in Drama Troll leadership, maybe we can just focus on the structures. I would love to destroy this stable. Oh, he stole my thingy. I will just commit, you know, I will just destroy some buildings. The Drama Troll is running for his life. Killing those level 2 farms is going to hurt Rohan quite a bit, you know. Because they will need so much time to get back to level 2, which means they will remain being squishy. It's a structure and also less resources for the opponent. Mordor Orcs are doing a phenomenal job. Saruman is single-handedly taking over the game. But we have also now our own Saruman cooking. Okay. The problem is my Lourdes is only level 1. So he's close to level 2, but that's just not enough. We need to get him to level 5 somehow, you know? So we have 60% more DPS, which kind of gives us the chance to one-shot heroes like Saruman or Thurin. And we still need like four power points for freezing rain. Four. Need more combos. My ally needs catapults actually, you know. You would need to bring catapults, man. Because the problem is the entire exist oh he, he has siege wars, okay. Maybe double siege works, I don't know. Because the entire existence of um Mordor will be shut down once the enemy eyes is the freezing rain. Give them banner first, so they get level two. And use speechcraft after boom level three it's like the trip you know tip i would always give you guys always buy banner first and they get free level two not free but you pay for it and then with the speechcraft or any ability that can level up the units they will get level three each level will make them significantly stronger 
Okay, we are actually good, I'm assuming. We have leadership now also from Saruman. But this Isengard and Rohan army is looking incredibly scary. We need to respect the glorious charge. We need to get some uh, pikemen in position. Unfortunately, I didn't purchase the forge bleeds. You know, if I would purchase the forge bleeds, I would just go for, uh, um, you know, walk riders and rush the beast of Eisen over and over again. But I'm immobile. Look, in those situations, works would be actually so good, you know. I will use fireball here, put lords next to Saruman, boom. You see, he got level from it. Passive level up. Looks like he doesn't want to commit to this. Don't destroy this stru uh, structure. Nice. We're getting power points. I see they are rotating to my ally. I see it at the bottom side. So we need to move. But we are so slow with the combos. That's the problem. Oof, this army is looking so strong. Holy. Okay, my pikemen need to be with my combos though. That's very important. Even though they are very squishy against Fyros during level 5. Aragorn leadership, Saruman leadership, Lord's leadership. I don't know, man. This is going to be really rough. I'm pretty tempted to pick Palantir, but I just don't want to do it. Because I want to get the power points for Freezing Green as soon as possible. We can fight this a little bit. Lord's level 4, that's amazing. Okay, we can commit now, I think. We can commit now. He's taking heavy damage, heavy damage. I want to cripple his Saruman or something. Make more combos. Okay. Oof, beautiful fireball from the guy. I want to use the speechcraft. Oh, I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss. Witch King. Oh, Witch King, man. Don't die like this, bro. Oh, this was really bad. Uh, we needed the Witch King. I'm playing so bad. Kill. Okay, we killed Saruman. We have now fre Freezing Rain. I took over the combos. But Theodin. We shall not be peace. Saruman, you and I. Theodin is dead. Lords level 6. But we can't commit to this, man. They have statues still. Lords and Aragorn leadership. I don't know. We have, we have Rain, though. Let's use Rain and we can turn now. Turn and fight. Where is my cripple? Go back, combo, heal up a little bit. Okay, he's... Oh my goodness, he's coming too. From this location. Double army. With high level combos though. Oh man. Saruman, come on. Dude, what a game is this, man? Holy... I need works, but I need also Forge Bleeds, man. That's what I need. Also, he used Rain, by the way, guys. We have no leadership either, you know? We have no leadership either. That's the problem. We are losing this fight hardcore, actually. Oh, boy. Le level 10 horse? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, rotate to this location. We have Cripple available. I want to Cripple his Lords or... Aragorn, whoever gets close to me will get crippled. Crash his horses, drama troll, okay. Okay, nice. So we get power points from this like crazy, that's good. But he's winning this fight, man, so hard actually. Okay, go back, go back, go back, go back. Remember, every unit you recruit after the rain has been used uh, will have leadership. So, recruiting new units kind of counters the entire rain system. You can cripple this dude. Cripple him. Yeah, he's crippled. He's doomed. I want to get the kill, actually. I want to get Balrog as soon as possible. But this guy keeps rotating on me all the time. This guy keeps rotating on me all the time. Demolish it. Combine. Combine, dude. Okay. Oh, this guy's annoying. It's playing good though, I like it. Use war chant, boom. He's already statue first. Lords, be careful. Oh, I got crippled, didn't I? I got crippled, didn't I? He's fully committing on me from both the sides. This guy's playing good actually, you know, I like it. 
Dude, this kind of encourages me to get more into the online gaming, man. My opponents are getting stronger and stronger and stronger. We kill lords. But this Rohirrim are slaughtering us, man. Okay. We have 14 power points. I want to get works actually. But I have no forge bleed still. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. My lords died again. I want to blast them a little bit if I can. Okay. So we are almost at level 8 with the Saruman. You know what it means? It's going to unlock the Will of Saruman for some sort of healing. That's pretty juicy. My units are badly damaged. And unlike the enemy Aizen, I have no ally that can build a well for me. So we will need time for them to recover. We are still so broke, actually, you know? I'm so poor. These horses are annoying as hell. My eco is not good, you know? If I had good eco, I would go for armory and even build a uh, fireball. Only one dude. Level 10 combos all over the place. Go back, Saruman. If almost, almost, almost. Badrock, almost. Rain is on cooldown. We have uh, also lots of leadership once our Lords is back in the business. We have Lords, Saruman, Warchant, Witch King, and Drummer. That's a lot, you know? Guys, like, can you let me know in the comment section down below which army has right now more leadership? My army or the enemy Eisen army? But even if they have less leadership, I think it's not by a lot, you know? Kill Saruman! Why is he so tanky? I should have used the war chant. I want to steal them all. They will eat. Okay. Theory was far away, that's why we are hard stomping this fight. In the meantime, we are taking over the, also the bottom side, that's good. Now we can commit to the outpost. I have no um, pikemen though. I don't know. Go back, go back, Saruman. Go back, go back, go back, go back. I want to get crippled. Which can closer. I want to steal this Rohirrim. I missed it. Holy moly. Destroy the well, please. They are recovering all the time. We need to kill the Saruman the second we see him. He's so tanky. We have the Will of Saruman available, no problem. Drama Troll is to move. I can fireball this, maybe. We have Balrog now. We have Balrog now. <gasps> he has ants! He's summoning them on top of my army! Fireball? What a fight, but we are losing this hardcore, actually. Holy! Ah, uh, man. Trample them. But they have too much leadership, dude. Even if trample, what can I do with this? You know, nothing. Dude. So, so difficult. So difficult, man. Oh, he has Balrog too. I have also Balrog, but... I want to use it actually on the base from him. Run, heroes. Run, heroes. Use Palantir. Run. Run. I'm not gonna use it here, I'm gonna use it here actually. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> My war is trying to fight against Balrog, man. So much, so intense. Oh boy, he has everything here, man. Even Aragorn bringing up the Fiesta. Oh, maybe I should have used the Balrog to, for the defense. I don't know. I don't know. Fireball them, maybe? Fireball them? Destroy this, please. Come on, Badrock. Fireball! Nice. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. We have heal, we have heal, we have heal. 
None can contest with the will of Saruman. But I fire over here. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, you also use the will of Saruman. But I fire. Do it, do it, Balrog, you are so slow. Oh man, this one person statue is gonna mess up everything, guys. I'm telling you. I'm so broke. I've lost like majority of my bees. Majority of my bees. I'm going for. Yeah, but this Rohan is still outpost, you know, he won't be even defeated. Now, if he won't be able to finish off the castle, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He will be rebuilding it, obviously. Send in the Witch King or something. I have only heroes remaining. I have four command points. <laughs> four out of 400. Oh, I'm so poor. I'm so broke. Yeah, I need like double, double, uh, say it. You need like double um, siege works, I believe, you know? Because they are everywhere. And with the catapults, maybe we can just, you know, put like five of them in the castle and protect us, you know what I mean? And also, Mordor can get uh, some of Badrock. Because I'm assuming this Rohan, he summoned in, so he's not too far away from the EOD. My heroes are doing good, though, but. They have just too much leadership over here, you know. They have Lourdes back in the business. Aragorn, Theodine, Saruman. This combos. Holy moly. Go back, 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 go back. I want to do something, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I need to give up the castle, boys. I need to give up the castle, boys. Aragorn is manhandling those catapults like crazy. Okay, I want to go for a beast raid. I actually want to... With this one combo, can I do it, boys? This one combo, Warchant, Lords, and Saruman. Can this be enough to finish off the Rohan castle? That's a big question. We're going to be finding out very soon, though. Cripple him. You shall not pass. You horse master, you can use glorious charge all you want. I will not, I will have to buy this outpost to not be defeated though. Um, can I do this in time? If I don't buy this outpost, I will be defeated. Can I do it in time? We need, we need to rebuild this for a sec. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, we killed Kyrin. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We bought it. <laughs> we are not defeated. Let's go. The one combo. I'm I'm pretty certain that this Rohan is like multiple outposts remaining. And I don't think we can win this anymore. I'm not sure though. If we can defeat Rohan, maybe. Maybe, you know. If Rohan is out of the game, maybe it's gonna be still winnable. Even though I have like 89 resources as we are talking. But Lourdes has the pillage. So when we get to kill something, we will get money from it, you know? You see, we get cash for killing stuff. We fuel the fires, but no lumber mills. Let's go. Can't even buy this thing, you know? My ally has to just hold himself. Just don't be defeated. Make catapults. Camp. Do something. We will defeat this Rohan. But the damage is nuts, though. Not even, not even drama troll around, and we are hitting so hard. And his base is so fresh, you know? Everything is level 1. You should be able to one shot everything in the base. Saruman, you go a little bit later. Okay. So, but Eowyn can't do anything about the situation. We can one shot the castle. One shot it. Catapults are doing good defense. That's good. Alright, let's go. Finish the beast. We can do it. He has nothing. He has nothing in the beast. His outpost, and also Isengard bought it back. So Rohan has no castle. He has only one outpost remaining, boys. Oh, man. <laughs> nice try, though. Nice try. Okay, we, we tried it. Yeah, GG well played. They, did, they really did good, actually, you know? They, did really, they deserved the victory also. Very well played. It's 1-1 one, one now, guys. And we're gonna be jumping into the deciding game of the best of three. Will we be losing the first series in the tournament? That's the question. The final game, boys. On the map, Buckland this time. Gondor and Rohan against Rohan and Isengard. 
Okay, so actually in three games I got to play three different factions. I can't complain. We played Gondor in the first game, you know, Aizen in the second game, and now we get to play Rohan. So three out of four factions in one series. I like it. Let's take this one. Buckland, a new map, uh, the most recent to V2 map actually, added by the patch 2.2. And hopefully in the future, we might also be adding more maps. Very important map for the middle camp. So there is an outpost in the middle, which is like in the center. You need to understand it's about like Anorian. Anorian is the middle camp, which also has lots of value. And uh, I will be capturing this hopefully later on. You know, I can spot my ally with statue and stuff. I actually want to make a hero party in this game. I want to make a hero party. I want to make like Legolas Gimli and stuff, you know. Let's do this. With Warchand, our peasants are very strong. It's freezing a little bit. Gondor. Um, need to make a peasant though. Maybe we can destroy this. We are still war chanted. Gondor has used the Elvin Wood. And with one soldier, he can destroy my farm. That's not possible. One soldier is not enough. It's freezing from time to time, man. This time I'm not even the host, you know. I wasn't the host of the game number two anyway. I was only hosting the game number one. This one is on the host from a neutral player. My ally was, will be able to defend himself, I'm assuming. Yes, one more soldier coming, but it's fine. Maybe we can win this fight. We are still war chanted. I don't know why he's fighting us. If we get level two here, it's gonna be big. Can we get level 2? One more person needs to be killed. Kill him. Kill him. One more hit. Oh, he's running. Why are you running, boy? Okay. I mean... Nitro hit him, though. Nitro hit him, boys. There are too many creeps on this map. Like, war players everywhere. And we need to creep them somehow. And for that reason, we need to hit him. This guy, is, this guy is even going for the infantry strat. Okay, my unit got level 2. That's good. Go back. Level 2, we can save him. Come on, Rohirrim. I have like horrible clicks this game, guys. Low key, I have horrible clicks this game. Need to kill his hobbit. Mary has to kill Pippin. I know it's a sad day, but it is how it is. Kill him! Kill him! Hobbit! Hobbit! One more! One more shot! Boom! <laughs> Headshot. Mary showing Pippin who the best hobbit is. It well. Well, well, well. Don't build it. Don't, oh, man. Don't be that guy, dude. I gotta be waiting for it. Okay. I know, man. I know. They were just chilling there, you know. Recovering a little bit. Alright, so let's um, let's put them back to the ally side. And we're gonna be creeping this layer with the first Rohirrim and the other layer with the second Rohirrim. Creeping is very important, especially for Rohan, because Rohan doesn't start with heal, unlike Gondor. You need to start always with draft, and you need like a power point to compensate that start, because peasants are only like an early game kind of unit, um, but that also makes Rohan to the strongest faction at the beginning of the game, because you have the chance to use your resource buildings as production buildings. It's Boromir. Move! My units don't want to move. Look at them. Dude. He's knocking them all down at once. Stop it, Boro. Okay. I want to also make heroes now. I actually want to make Legolas. I, I wanted to go for upgrades, but I think it's best to go for Legolas, you know? Let's go for Lego. And then, guys, let's do crazy stuff. Let's go Lego, Gimli, Aragorn. The three hunters. 
the three hunters in the game number three i know it's the final game but you know it's all about fun and content we have heal now from the spell book it's juice beautiful <laughs> My lord, <laughs> he's dying. Kill him. I don't know. I think uh, Boro will get the last hit on the troll. That's very unfortunate for my ally. Oh, he got the last. Okay, never mind. Boro is still level 3, but Lord is level 2. That means he can't do anything about Boro. I feel, man. I feel. Can I get the last hit? Yeah, I got the last hit. Can I get the money? Yeah, I got the money too. <laughs> Thank you very much. He got one part of the treasure though. One part of it. Run. Run, you fools. Uh, you know what time it is, boys. It is time for the legendary dwarf. My Rohirrim will die. That's why I don't like to make them against heroes, you know? Because they are so um, slowed down by Boro. Boro is able to knock them down. My Lego has to be careful. Fortunately, Lego is as fast as uh, the peasant. Uh, Lego is as fast as Boromir. That means Boro can't catch him. That's not possible. My Gimli is slower though. Unless he unlocks the level 5 Slayer. Then he will be the fastest infantry hero ever. And also one of the strongest. I think only Aragorn is able to beat him in a 101 with the Anduril and Blade Master combination. Other than that, nobody tosses a dwarf, okay? Nobody tosses a dwarf. And next hero is going to be Theorin. Oh my goodness, he has tower guards too. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, okay, go back. Abort the mission, Rohirrim. Gimli is good against tower guards, by the way. Like, his extra is buffed against tower guards. Because uh, at some point in the patch 2.2, the infantry meta was taking over. And what was, what was extremely strong was this tower guard soldier combination. But now, Gimli, a natural counter to all of this. Use Hulk Strike, man. Come on now. Doesn't want to use it. You always want to put heroes next to each other. They can share experience this way. Oh, my Gimli didn't catch up. Okay. They got us almost level 2. Again, each level will make him significantly stronger. Buying the middle camp. The outpost. Oh my goodness, they have crazy heroes. They have like Legolas, Gimli, Boro, and Farah. I have no more heal. Need to be careful. My ally has like no upgrades on these units. Gimli missed the leap attack. That's good for us. If you miss the leap attack, I want to extra him. But they have double heal, keep that in mind. Where's my Gimli at? Lego Lance, go back. Run, Lego, run, 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 run. This Lego Lance from him won't die either. My Lego can his wife. I think he's good. Oh my goodness, they healed multiple times. Okay. I don't know, it's a very awkward situation. I even forgot to build at the outpost, man. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm playing so bad. <laughs> no, Rohirrim, don't die. Don't die, Rohirrim, please. You can survive it. No, he's rest in peace. Okay, so with my Rohirrim without upgrades can't even approach the heroes anymore. That's legit not possible. So I, I need to kind of send them back, you know? I don't want to get upgrades yet. I want to actually make Aragorn first. So I have like... Full leadership for my ally. That's what I want. What is my Gimli doing? Feeling. Oh man, this is so annoying. This is so annoying. I want to make Aragorn first though. Uh, remember, they have double statue, right? Almost. It means um, our heroes will be cheaper once it's fully finished. Once the statue is fully finished, it's going to kick in with the hero bonus and your arrow will cost only 3.15k instead of 3.5k. And also, it also affects the heroes which are dead and you can revive them even cheaper. 
And that's why Outpost is so good for the good factions, you know? Okay. I mean, the Legolas hurts my Outpost quite a bit. We need Gimli back. And then we can also go for upgrades later on. That is the plan, ladies and gentlemen. There is one lonely soldier. Scouting. Cripple. Now it's a different story. Now we have Legolas and also Saruman has been joining the party. Now it's a different story, my friend. Oh, they want to commit to my Legolas. We have Atelas from Aragorn for healing. Oh, this Gimli leap attack plus the... Okay. Oak strike him. Boom. Okay, nice. Level 3. I feel ink. I feel ink. Oh my goodness. This Gimli is Speedy Gonzalez. He's after my Legolas. Oh, what is this damage? This Gimli kind of one-shot, almost one-shot my Theoden also too, by the way. Okay, I mean... But the problem is, from for the, for the enemy team, now we won't lose any fight anymore. Because we have like stacked up leadership with Theoden, Statue, Aragorn, Warchant, Lords and Saruman. This combos, one of them even being almost level 10, are going to be extremely powerful, you know? Extremely powerful. Now I want to go for the... For the end mood, actually, you know? I want to cancel this and go for the end mood, maybe. So we can siege. What a game number three, boys. <laughs> Dude, you can't make hero party against an anti-hero, man. There is an anti-hero, and this is Gimli. Uh, not Gimli. This is Lourdes, you know? He can just cripple one of the most important heroes, and you can't move. And I have also leadership. I'm more like a sportive player in this last game, actually. I'm not, not doing much myself. I'm just making heroes and putting them next to my allies' combos. And with the aura, the, the conqueror's aura they have, they will also give a leadership and make these units way stronger. Rank 10. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. You, dude, you fight around the statue. Aragon gives combat experience. And Saruman gives a combat experience. And you feed heroes which are feeding lots of power points and experience points. So it's like a bad, 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 bad situation for you. Armory. Because my ally went for the uh, Ballista. It's all about time, boys. The Ballista will knock, knock very soon on the Rohan uh, wall and then we're gonna be going inside my Lego almost level 4 that's good my eco is also not looking bad because I'm not investing into anything as we are talking you know the reason why this went so far is because they both went for heroes and for that reason my allies eco was untouched you can see those lumber mills almost hitting level 3 very very soon and yeah long story short it's not good when you give evil too much money because they will get to the mid power mid game power spike in the early game you know you need to destroy your lumber mills so this one is combos but the problem is what rohan has i have also from with my ally and we have even more leadership get also shields knock knock the dream would be to get Theodin to level 4 somehow, you know? And let's make a deal. If Theodin gets level 4 somehow during this fight, you gotta be leaving a like to this video. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, boys. Because in the winter time, around December, January and February, I will be making way more content for the channel. I will have much more time during the weekend. And trust me on that one, you don't want to miss those Fiesta games. Right now, right for ruin in the world's ending. Remember the deal, boys. When Theoden gets level 4, which is not easy, he's only level 1. Don't ask me why I used the knife fighter. 
You don't need to ask me that. You know, make sure that they are poor, that they don't have money. You know, that's the most important thing. Okay, they are committing. They have, like, also leadership. They are Boromir. I don't know, Faramir, though. But he has also Theodin. And, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Steal from my ally. Choke point. You can't be choking in a point like this with your army when there is a Saruman in the enemy army. Beautiful hawk strike with the young Legolas. The Prince of the Mirkwood Elves. Now we are zooming in. Destroy the statue, man. Look, he's destroying the statue with the stolen units. You know, it's like a win-win situation in my book. Just go for the structures. Just go for the structures. Legolas level 2. F4. And Tyrion level 2. Level 3. Oh, it's getting there, boys. Can we get it? One more level. One more level. You know what to do then? Undo the sword. One more level. Put Theory next to them. Gimli, what are you doing over there? Gimli has done nothing from me in this game. Don't I, Theory? Okay, boys. A deal is a deal, okay? GG well played. A deal. It's a deal. Theorin got level 4 for the death and glory. Yeah, Gimli got what he wanted. We're going to be leaping around a little bit in the final moment. Gimli jump, 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 jump. Ha ah, boom. <laughs> GG well played. 2-1 is the final score. They did a phenomenal job in the game number 2. But we got to win. We got to win in the first game of the group. And see you guys in the next game. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe for more. And until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.